Hello everybody, this is your boy Kenneth reporting from the K2 Spot, giving you all a brand new video, and it's on Grammy nominated R&B singer and actor Tyrese Gibson. Now y'all know this is his new album called Black Rose, it got released today this morning, July 10th. Now it's 14 tracks, and for those of you who are wondering, okay, is this going to be, is this going to be a different feel for Tyrese? No, it's not. You have different elements of the classic Tyrese, but at the same time you have the 2015, you know, with the modern twists. But I feel like you got, if you guys like um, his previous albums, like Tyrese, 2000 Watts, I Want to Go Back, Open Invitation, you guys will definitely love this album, so I feel like you guys won't be disappointed at all. And um, I can't forget about the Alter Ego album, or I should, yeah, or Black Tie, I should say, Black Tie, the Alter Ego album. I feel like you guys will love this project. Let me correct that. But when you get a track number one called Attic, just talking about Attic, he's in love with the woman. And he's just feeling the woman that he's feeling. Just feeling her. And y'all know that's what the song's getting into. <laughs> if y'all know what I'm saying. Track number two called Dumb Shit featuring Snoop Dogg. I'm sure you guys know, seen the video. At first, it took me a minute to get um, into the song. But I like that they sampled the... Um, Tribe Called Quest song, Benita Apple Bomb. I was like, okay. And you know, Snoop and um, Tyrese, they did the thing. Because I'm used to them doing uh, songs together like they did. Um, Just Wanna Be a Baby Boy. Y'all know that song from 2000, the 2000 Watts album. And track number three, we get to Picture Perfect, which is a great song. It's just talking about the, um, he pictures this woman in his life being the right person that he just compliments him, makes him feel good. And he know he could build a future with. And that's basically what the next track, Waiting on You, is basically about. Because you get the happiness on that. But then you get in the middle. You get to track number five called Shame. Which you guys know the video's out for that also. Talking about how he feels shame for what he did to the um, to the person that he loved. Hit the woman that he loved. He did a wrong. And you know, or just a past girlfriend as we should say. Did a wrong. But you know, it came back on him. And he just felt the backlash and the shame of it all. So basically that's what it is. But it had like, gave me like a theater opera, not opera, like an opera theater type of feel. With it just being a lot of energy and amazing background vocals. Now we get to the next track, which is kind of I was very impressed with. It was Don't Want to Look Back featuring Chrisette Michelle. And everybody that loves Chrisette Michelle, y'all know that sister can blow vocally wise. It's like she has that jazz, R&B, hip-hop feel. And I feel like with Tyrese's voice, they created a magical record. And I mean, I feel like this could be a great... It's one of my favorite songs right here. And then the next track called Prior to You featuring Tank, which y'all know, Tyrese, Tank, and you know you had Genuine when they do TGT. It felt like I was getting that feel, but I felt like I was getting like a throwback of like the 90s. But you, instead of you getting the G in it, you got the TT. If y'all get what I'm saying. And then the next track called Leave, another great track saying how he would leave. But it's just one of those songs that just you get in the you get the feel of it all and you just be like, wow, like Tyrese is really like selling it. And he really and I feel like when you get to this last half of the album, you're gonna get a lot of romantic sides of him. And you get that seductive feel, especially on songs like Without My Heart, um, When We Make Love. Those songs are just self explanatory, but they're beautifully done. And it's especially another song called Gonna Give You What You Need. That's gonna be simple. It's not raunchy or nothing like that, but I feel like it's one of the songs you're gonna be like, oh man, Tyrese is like, I could hear this as a slow jam or hear it all like on, a, um, on the radio being played. Like if you wanna you know, fall asleep on or anybody just wanna set the mood, I feel like you could definitely hear that song on there. And especially it gets a little freaky on body language saying, He's fluent in body language and all languages. So basically that just means he got a flavor. He loves them all. Women of, love women of all colors, races, and all the above. Especially when he's saying with the body language. So, But what is this song right here? I've been, ex I'm excited this is on the album. And I've been waiting for these two to do a uh, song. Even though I've heard the song a while ago. Because apparently it was supposed to make the final cut of the Open Invitation album. But it made this album, the Black Rose album. The song he did with Brandy. Who's one of who's my favorite female artists? The song that Tyrese and Brandy did called "The Rest of Our Lives." This is the total, the best song on the one of my favorite songs. I think it's the best song. It's a wedding. I feel like this is a wedding song that you guys can hear, and it's just one. It's just so beautifully done, and just you have Brandy, Tyrese, 
that's all I gotta say about it. And they're best friends too, so the two of them make instant music very well. And then it also gets to the last song called I Still Do, which is done very well. It's saying I still do love the person. And I'm still gonna give it my all. No matter what people may think, I'm gonna just do me, and that's all I can do. So overall, I'll give Tyrese a 10 out of 10 on this album. Like, he really delivered. Especially with this being his last solo al album. Tyrese, can please don't let this be your last solo album. But it is what it is. Hopefully we all can um, influence him not to make to make more music. Let me get that correct. Make more music. Come on, Tyrese. Make some more music, dude. But overall, the song, this the, that song just blew me away. But this album, Black Rose, make sure you guys get it. It's on iTunes. I have a link down if you want to um, purchase the album on iTunes. And if you want to keep up with Tyrese, he is on Twitter and Instagram at Tyrese, which is so simple. T-Y-R-E-S-E. -E. That's on Twitter and Instagram. And you also make sure you subscribe to his YouTube channel, which I have everything down here in the description box. You guys don't have to worry. Your boy got you covered right here. And if you want to keep up with me, please follow me on Twitter and Instagram at KTooks. This show that you're watching on YouTube, the KTooks Spot, it does have a Twitter page at KTooks Spot. Please thumb up this video by liking it. Make sure you share this video. Make sure you comment. After you've heard the full album, Black Rose from Tyrese, let me know what your favorite tracks are. Did you enjoy the production of it all? Be honest with me when you, after you've heard the whole album from Tyrese. Don't give me comments saying, oh, you like only one song and you, don't, you haven't heard the whole album. Get, let me know after you've heard the whole album from beginning to the end. Let me know what you think. That way we all can get an understanding of it all. And hopefully this review helped you guys out and made you want to get the album because the album is out. I got it on iTunes. So, Tyrese, your boy right here, Kenneth, is supporting you and I got your back. And that's all I have to say right there. So, this is your boy Kip, who signed off from the K2 Spot. You guys have a blessed one and you'll see me again later. So, bye-bye.